Hello and welcome to another course preview. This time I decided to go to Germany to check out the VKWC. It's a bloody long way there, it took me about 12 hours to drive there on my own. I'm Azza's official caddy for this event which is nice, gets me into the parking, I can make him tea. And it's windy so I'm going for a session. But I did bump into a few friends like JB and Manuela. And even this plonker, Nick Jacobson. Time to go for a session, without stopping for a quick laugh at Mark up on the poster in his Pringles outfit. <laughs> so this is the event, I thought I'd swing through the slingshot tent to check it out before we get out on the water. Wow, look at that sexy board, ooh, ooh, what have we here, the new bar, nice, below the bar swivel, above the bar depower, with a magnet on, are you kidding, that's pretty cool, nice, new harnesses, ooh, big up to the slingshot crew, Bebe got my money in him to win, Mads, new team rider, right, time to go for a session, it's nice to walk past the board and remind myself that I'm not competing, well, just to come say hey to everyone, catch up with a few old friends, caught up with the Bridge family, that was nice to see them all here. Another slingshot rider, Carolina Winkowska, she's going to win. And all the big dogs are here, yo, what up, what up? And my old boss from Nash, Des, how's it going? Young ripper Tom Bridge is about to go storm it, preheat, after heat, stoke. Definitely time for me to go for a session now. Let's jump over here and just go have some fun. So yeah, you can come and test any brand's kite here. It's quite a cool event for that. Meanwhile, I'm testing out these new lines. How cool are they look? We've got a brand new fuel for today's session. Oh my god, my baby, yes. So, check this. As I'm about to go out, I'm walking backwards and I chip over a side castle. Oh. Right on my arse, <laughs> it's so funny. So this is what the guys are going to be competing in during this week. They called off the competition for a break, so I flew into the competition area and made the most of it. Pretty windy today, I'm stacked on my 7. It's a shame they're not running the big air, because it would have been a great show for the public, but it's always the way with kite surfing. Hey, there's Nick. How's it going, Nick? Can always rely to Nick to jump over me! Whee! He's a joker. I had a fun little session, I was taking it easy though, just cruising around saying hello to everyone. There's Linus, German team rider, Paula Novatna and Tom again. Catching up, hey, is that guy falling off his jet ski? What? What are you doing? Ah, oh, I just jumped over <laughs> It's fun not being in the comms, I can just do whatever I want, it's brilliant. <laughs> That's enough of that, time to call it a day. Back to the beer tent, I think. First I need to give my baby a quick shower, make sure it's nice and clean. How cool are these things though? They're all over the beach in Germany, just chill, drink tea, I don't know why we don't have those in England. After another bloody long drive, listen to some banging tunes, I arrived at the Bricks. Can you believe it? And I bumped into James Baldy! How's it going James? Fancy seeing you here. Come take a few laps with us while we show you the Bricks. The Bricks is a really cool cable park in the south of Germany and definitely worth checking out if you're ever here. It's called Bricks because most of the rails are actually built from bricks, so all the rails are solid in the water, so it feels a little bit different. But it's a really special cable park. I don't know why, but it's just really cool. We had a really good day, but I've only got time for a couple of hours before I've got to shoot off back to the ferry. So I quickly squirted James's ear with some of this ear impression goo for his headphones. And even had time to go for a quick skate. They have a mini ramp in between the two lakes here at Bricks. It was so much fun. Check it out. This is like my dream mini ramp to have in my garden. One day I'm going to have one of these. Now it's time to hit the road again. That was about the best pit stop you can ever do. But just a quick trip through the Euro Tunnel, which is a train that goes underneath the sea that I drive my van into. Mental. Anyway, 1500 miles, couple of days, tea, Duncan and biscuits. See you later.